The section of the Catechism about living life in Christ starts with these simple words. Christian, recognize your dignity. Why would this be? Christian, recognize your dignity. Because if you want to live a holy life, then you have to live in reality. And that starts with the reality of who you are. Someone created for a purpose. You have an immense dignity, we all do, because we were made in the image of God. What does that mean? This means that God is so unfathomable that to give us just a taste of his glory, he expresses something unique about himself and how he loves through every single human heart, including yours. So through existing, you teach me something about God. Thank you. I now know that since he made you, his divine heart wants you here and wants you to live with him forever. As humans, we are created as body and soul with the incredible destiny of heaven forever. You and everyone you know are worthy of being treated with love and respect simply because you are human. When we know that love isn't something that we have to earn, the Christian life becomes not about trying to prove our goodness to God or following rules to be lovable, but about the adventure of discovering and living out who we really are through virtue. So Christian, recognize your dignity and let it change the way that you live. I know, this is easier said than done. So I have some practical tips for you today on how to embrace the truth of your great dignity in your own life. Number one, cultivate wonder instead of judgment. This can be hard. We live in a world where we are trained to judge, rank, and analyze everything. And so we can so often hold a constant disposition of judgment towards our very selves. Even really basic things we do can be followed by a hundred accusations in our own heads about how we could be better. But what if we held a disposition of wonder towards ourselves instead? St. Augustine once said this, men go abroad to wonder at the heights of mountains and they pass by themselves without even wondering. Don't pass by yourself. The next time your brain snaps to a judgment about yourself, just pause. Hold yourself instead in awareness with a sense of curiosity and openness to what you find there. Honor what your feelings do for you. Honor what your body does for you. Delight in the fact that you can always grow and that's part of the human journey. This will help you to understand that God sees you first and foremost as a person to be understood and loved rather than a project to be fixed. All right, tip two, renounce the lies and claim the truths. Chances are, because you're a human being, you have picked up on some lies about where your dignity comes from. False ideas about your worthiness coming from what you can do, how you look, how many followers you have on Instagram, you name it. So find and call out the lies that you have come to believe. But don't stop there. Put the truth in their place. By claiming these truths again and again, our hearts start to heal and actually believe it. Claim the truths of who scripture says you are. Soak in the voice of the Father in prayer. That is a voice you can trust. All right, tip three, be courageous. At the heart of courage is the knowledge that your worth is rooted in the Lord alone. It is then that you can share a deferring opinion knowing that how you are received is not a reflection of your value. You can try something new knowing that if you fail, that doesn't make your identity a failure. So take healthy, virtuous risks that remind you of that fact. Be courageous. Dance even though someone called you an awkward dancer in middle school. Forgo makeup even though someone asked you if you were tired the last time you did. Sing imperfectly. Reach out to someone. Go to counseling despite the stigma. Pray in a public restaurant. These are courageous because courage is to fight through the fear of being vulnerably yourself with the knowledge that no matter the outcome or the response, you are infinitely loved good and worthy. Swap judgment for wonder. Swap lies for truth and be courageous. Christian, recognize your dignity and you will live differently. Remember, I'm not inviting you into some hokey thing. I'm inviting you into reality. That's pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to The Culture Project so you can tune in to the other videos we're making about topics like this. And remember, you are awesome.